right, so we just made it out of the bus here at Reach Falls. Yo, Lars, I already paid him. Okay. It's two fifty a piece. We just came from our guest house, and Lars, right here. You ready? <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to find our way. We were told that potentially, when you get dropped off right here, that there might be some people here waiting for you for a tour. Maybe something like this guy right here. We're gonna go over and check it out. But yo, I have so many things to say before we get on our way. Um, I might say it later in this video, but driving here through Jamaica, coming through the Long Bay area from Port Antonio around Long Bay, I know I've just been seeing and noticing so many things. It's got my mind racing. So we're gonna figure out how we can get to Reach Falls right now. How you doing? Are you Chris? Yeah, we're waiting for you. You got a call? Yeah, you're coming from Altia, she called me. Okay, cool, cool. You mind if I record for YouTube? Problem, all right you have a YouTube yeah YouTube channel yeah uh, all right guys I guess this is gonna be our guide today our guest house people rec um, recommended us but she tried calling it was no service you guys have service up here yeah we have service now okay it was, we have because we don't have any current okay okay so that's the reason why we don't have no signal okay no problem so this is gonna be our guide today so we'll get in okay. all right so we're gonna okay I'll go in the front all right so we're gonna get in with him right here and uh yeah head up to reach falls see what this is about i'm pretty excited you guys have been telling me in the comments that when i come to portland i need to go to reach falls and blue lagoon so here i am i think tomorrow i'm gonna do blue lagoon and uh we'll figure it out from there so let's be on our way yo are these all coconut trees yeah damn look at all those coconut trees you guys it's crazy how long is it to the uh to the falls 3.5 kilometers okay okay it's beautiful drive you guys this is the drive to reach falls so i'm sure many of you that have or are going to watch this video have been here because you guys are telling me to go here and i heard this is an absolute gem um the guy that i was talking to the host i was like yo his wife compared it well she didn't compare it but she was like have you been to the blue hole and then he was like don't do that to them he was like this is 10 times better than the blue hole and it's a gem so like if i went to the blue hole and that to me was amazing so if this is going to be better than that oh my god and i hope you are you think we're the only ones here or there's other people there it's yeah, so a local tour is a private tour so you're gonna be the only one oh uh, you're the only one came so far oh yo bro and we got this all to ourselves what we're chilling Okay, so while he's backing up and we are entering Reach Falls, let me talk to you about some things that I've been uh, noticing while here in Jamaica. Okay, so first of all, coming from Long Bay, coming from Portland to Long Bay, um, I knew that the Chinese were in the country like building infrastructure and things like that, but it's so crazy to see like that road in Long Bay coming here. They're, they're just building a road. So it's like my first time traveling a country where like not a road is developed. You understand? Like a road's not built. And it's so crazy watching the guys do the work and then just the Chinese man sitting there like overlooking them. And one of them had like the big, the big sheriff glasses and it just looked like, I don't know. It was a weird look. All their uniforms are written in Chinese and things like that. So, okay, obviously because the Chinese are funding, whatever, whatever. These are just observations I'm noticing before I go to Reach Falls. Another thing, Lars almost got us dropped earlier. And I don't mean dropped, I'm just, I'm just exaggerating. This is more my personality. Um, but as we were hopping into the, uh, the cab, or the, I, I always call it a cab, but as we were hopping into the taxi, he didn't have a shirt on. And like I said in my last vlog, here in Jamaica, if you, um, if you're dirty or if you get into a cab, like, like if you're dirty, you're not getting into a cab at all. They're going to be like, they're going to say something about it. If you slam the door, they're going to say something about it. So he, he walked up with no shirt and they were like, ah, no, 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 man, you got to have a shirt on. And I was behind him. So I was like, I was frightened. I was like, dang, Lars, you almost got his junk. And everyone was laughing. So that was cool. Another thing that I really, really like about Jamaica and drop down in the comments and let me know, let me know who does these things. Do they hire someone specific? Is it a company? The thing that I like is there's no like official signage in Jamaica. Like there's not a company that like makes like the big banners, you know, everything on here is like painted on the wall. Like if you go to the shops, if you go to the markets, when you're driving on the street, when you see welcome to wherever, everything is very nice hand handcraft painted you know 
by hand, maybe no stencil or something. So the artwork and the artistry is perfect. Check this out right here. I think we're gonna be walking down this way. I feel like if it's real quiet, I can hear maybe the water rushing down there. I think maybe they got quite a bit of rain. In the past couple days, you guys got quite a bit of rain, so it should be pretty, pretty, Strong. pretty full, yeah? The All water, right. we have spring water. The water comes from the top, right? So it's a spring water. So the water is always flowing, you know? Okay, okay. So it's always strong. Yeah, I'm excited for this. This is going to be great. And um, as you guys just saw, when we got dropped off at the top, he was just sitting right there. I was kind of worried at first. Like, are we going to have to walk? What are we going to do? But he was just sitting right there. So he says they do that all the time there. So if you could just take the local bus here, you can get a local guide here. And then... Well, we're about to see what I'm going to show you. I don't know. I'm going to show you what we're going to see. So let's head on down. So remember, you know, when you're in Jamaica and you're doing the local routes, you're doing adventure, right? So this is how we get across to the waterfalls, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the machine over here, yeah? And you're going to hop on first. Normally we do it ladies before gentlemen, but you're two males here today. So you're going to go first. I start the machine. <laughs> And then I read you across, all right? Yo! So this thing here goes 360 kilometers per hour if we want it to, all right? All right. You ready? Yeah, hey, man, maybe. you look scared, man. You're in Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica, but, no but problem, how, all but right? How? Nah, I think he's, I think he's lying, so, bro. Yeah, man, I'm serious. So you have to let me know when you're ready, then I start the machine, all right? This is Shit, lying. Not fear, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yo, if I'm going down this right now, I'm not. I'm gonna be scared. You ready, bro? I'm ready. Nah, man, you don't sound ready, man. All right, we'll take the other route. It's okay. a joke, all right? Yeah, I was gonna so say. We use it to transport the bananas and the water coconuts. So okay, it's for okay. The farm, all right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. So we take this route. I've never seen that system before. That's very interesting. And how long have you been taking people here for? Or have you been doing your thing here? 2018. Oh wow, that's a quite a while. So you know this place like the back of your hand. Yeah, I've been here all my life, you know. All right. So you're basically in my backyard, bro. Okay, okay, cool. If you guys can hear down there, I could see the water is rushing. So let's get down there. I can already feel the cool breeze as well. It's such a contrast from where we came from. It was 33, de uh, de well, degrees or no, 33. What do you call it? Fahrenheit or 33 Celsius this morning. It was hot at like 8 a.m. Had to get out of bed, rinse off, cold water. So, all right, let's go down. Yeah, in Jamaica, they're always making sure you're trying to have fun. You enjoy yourself, all right? Oh, it's nice and cool. The rocks are not slippery either. Oh man, it's so cold, bro. Whew. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> We're walking up? Yeah, we're going up. All right. All right, I got you. So this is... Okay. Oh, dude, Reach Falls. Oh, I can feel the current. It's definitely a little, little strong. We'll come through this way right here. And there's no, there's no animals in here. Well, the fish is inside. Fish? All right. Oh, dude, it's so cold. And I could feel I'm pushing against the current right now. It's very... In here? Oh, shit. I'm pushing my way through the current right now. Are you scared of crocodiles? I never, never saw one. Oh! Oh! This is a workout. And it's good because I haven't done cardio in a while. Here we are at the falls. Yep. I'm gonna come on this way. And guys, this is Nat. You could drink this, right? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, true. Maybe someone on the top taking a Yeah, true, true. Someone at the top urinating. Yeah, seriously. Oh. 
definitely a good time. Check out this pool right here. Through here. We're gonna go right through here. Oh yeah. And that's a strong current. <laughs> oh, shout out to y'all for telling me to come here. I think I'm gonna take my friend to Boston Beach next, so if you guys see that again, please don't be mad. I want him to experience it. Oh. I don't know if this is all we're gonna do today or if we're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> all right, let me get an underwater for you guys. cover my microphone when I go under so hopefully you can still hear me we got Lars going up right now oh, right here is so deep oh. 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 almost lost my footing it's cool because these rocks are not slippery at all. So you could just step on them and keep going. The only thing is, is you got to make sure you don't step on them and hurt your feet, you know? Uh, this is definitely the move. Definitely, definitely a good suggestion by you guys down in the comments. I tried to go to Nanny Falls, but apparently the road is like blocked off. So this is what we decided to come to do because I was told Reach Falls as well is the place to be so here we are Whoa! almost tore my ass up but I got reflexes like a CAT I'm in the gym all the time working on my balance fitness health as well apparently these uh, waters here in Jamaica have healing powers so even if I got hurt I'll just take a dip should be good to go the currents get strong. Check this out. And it keeps going up? Wow. Lars, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Have you ever been in a place like this? Uh, like beautiful water? In Switzerland. Yeah? <laughs> Switzerland has a lot of pools like this? Uh, in, in Ticino. Okay. Uh, Matcha Tom. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh. Here we go, it goes all the way up. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. You guys definitely got to come experience this. Apparently there's two tours you can take here. There's a government one and there's a local one. So like I said earlier, when you get off the bus, Chris is right there waiting. Ask for Chris, okay? And uh, he'll take you over here and give you the local tour. It's very safe. Um, this is not anything that you need to be worried about. Lars, go under. I'll get you on camera and take a right, picture for you. Right, right. We got Lars. Hold on, guys. That's strong. That's going fast. Huh? Yeah. Our whole exploration. Oh, there goes a fish. Right in the water. Oh. Bro, this is actually kind of dope. Uh, the one, I think this is actually better than Dunn's River. I didn't go up Dunn's River, but 
this one right here you just get more of like a local vibe you're not like a tourist in a pack walking up with a with, with life vests on and things oh it gets better oh he says it gets better so let's focus on getting up there and i'll meet you guys there i was taking on a little bit of water Perfect. Check this out up here. Check out how clear the water is. Man, we have a beautiful opening right here. The sun coming through, shining on this perfect, perfect clear blue water. Oh man. The natural beauty of Jamaica is just have got to be explored. I tell you this, I keep the camera facing forward because I want you guys to experience this with me. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so lucky, oh, I'm so blessed to be able to be in this situation and experience this. Oh. Oh, it gets deeper right here, oh it's deeper right here, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. All right, so this right, this hole right here is a little deeper. We got Lars chilling right here. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Oh, dude, in happiness, please. Oh, it gets deeper. Oh, he said it gets deeper at the top. Bro, this is perfect. It's good when you have the place all to yourself too. On to the next one. What's your favorite memory of coming to uh, Reach Falls, or if you have one, or your favorite time here? When I was a kid, me and my friends, yeah, yeah. We were like, um, well, 11 years old. We usually come here like very often. That's how we learn to swim, actually. Okay. We always come here and we swim around here, playing up and down this place as kids, you know. Have you ever seen the water not running? Or it, water has always been yeah. running? It's always moving. Okay. It's always moving. So it's always deep. Okay. Cool. All right. Now I'm about to go in there. So let's go. Ugh. It says this part. Oh, this is like a slide right here. It says this part is deeper and this current over here will push you. Ooh. Oh. Here, take Can you take that? Take this. Okay, now it's going. Ah. Uh -huh. oh. Not a strong swimmer. You see that? Have people drowned here before? Yeah. Whew. Well, this water, it's not always this 
strong. Okay. More farm when it's not raining. Okay. Yeah. All right. We go up. Nobody throw because you have the good guys, right? Yeah, true. We know exactly where to let you go and we know what's going to happen. That's true. Yeah. So that's why I tell you before you go that it's gonna be strong. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. All right, I think we're gonna continue up. All right, check this out. Whoa. I can go through here. Yeah. All right, check this out. We're going through this rock area to get to over there. Oh, yo, this is crazy. Yo, this is crazy. Oh. Yo, this is, yo, I'm scared to be in here. Oh, shit. All right. All right, I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm collected. I was a Marine. I could do this. <laughs> oh, dude. Bro, big spider right here, bro. Watch out. What is that? I don't know, but we're staying away from him. Let's go this way. He says we could walk around here, up here, and jump off there. Yeah. You already know. That's where I'm going. <sighs> Careful, Lars. That's slippery. <sighs> yeah, all right. Lean like this. Lean like this. <laughs> Bro, it's always good when you meet someone who's got a good vibe, good energy to travel with. Especially from a different country, you can learn about their country while telling them about yours. So, Lars has been teaching me a lot about Switzerland. Maybe it's a country I'll visit one day. I'm not sure. Ooh, very expensive like the US. I think we're going up over here. I think we're going up right here. This current is kind of keeping me up right now. It's crazy. Let me put you down for a second. <laughs> like, what don't I do? You okay? Yeah. He says we could jump in from here. Lars is a strong dude, he got it. I'll put my foot in right here. So we're at the top now where we could jump. He says this is like the last pool right here. Whew. You're gonna go first. All right. Lars from Switzerland. You wanna give a shout out to anyone? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, to no one. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, give it to him. Yo. That boy's crazy. <laughs> That boy's crazy. He did that belly flop. Nah, I'm all set. I'm not doing that. We'll just give it to him regular. Like a little cannonball. We got a little cave over there. Yes, sir. That was a good jump. I'm gonna do one more. Here we go, a little, little flip, little gainer. Let's go, Lars. Hey, wait, throw me my glasses. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got that. 
<laughs> that was good? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Yo, if you're not a strong swimmer, oh, 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 this will take you out this one hand. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I got a whole workout in. That was nuts. Reach falls, baby. Alright, let's go. Uh, yo, guys, uh, I'm gonna let him give a, a big up to his page. Yeah. Travel page, tour yeah, page. Follow me on Instagram, yeah. Tour Portland with Chris. You can follow me there. You see the stuff that I do, yeah. I show you what you can do in Portland and stuff like that, alright? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Make sure you uh, link up. He was mad cool with us today. Took his time, explained everything. Wasn't rushing, wasn't pushing. You know how, like, how some tour guides. Oh. I wasn't rushing, wasn't pushing, you know how some tour guides, they're kind of like harassing you, doing extra stuff, but nah, he was legit. And we got him recommended to us from our host. So I told my host, I was like, I don't trust anybody. And he was like, well, I don't trust anybody, so you can trust me, but definitely hit up Chris. Check this out. You could end up here. Reach Falls. Damn. Okay. Yeah, right here we need to be careful. It's gonna be slippery. The hurricane knocked all this over. Let me uh, situate myself and come back. So yeah, as I was saying, could you see all this? The hurricane knocked all these bamboo trees down right here. I couldn't imagine trying to hike through here. You'd get lost so easy. Rocks are very, very slippery, so. Now it seems we've come to some stairs going up this path, so that's the end of it. Reach Falls, bro. That was that was amazing. Jumping off that rock, doing a little flip. It was much, much lower than the one over at uh, Rick's Cafe, as you guys could see. But I would rate this place 9 out of 10, to be honest. So if you guys ever come over here, what, where's Reach Falls in? What's this? Is, this is not Long Bay, right? Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Manchinil, so the community is called Reach. Okay. So it's in Reach, but Manchinil area. Okay, you guys heard it here. Come here and visit Reach Falls. I had a blast. I'm exhausted though. I need to, I need to chill out. I need to get something to eat. This will be my first vlog I haven't really eaten in, which is amazing, because usually I'm always stuffing my face with food. <gasps> but I'm gonna get out of here for now head back to my guest house maybe freshen up and go see what the day has to offer maybe go out again i'm not sure but uh reach falls everybody wow that was a blast i'll catch you guys on the next one from a beautiful place called jamaica all right i had to get a meal for the five bills 50 i got the fried chicken I got rice and peas. I came back to Boston Beach. I had to show my man Lars what the beauty of Jamaica had to offer. Isn't this amazing? Look at this, these guys are getting crashed by waves. I'm posting up at my spot right here. This is where I came last time. And uh, the hurricane obviously messed up some things over here. I'm gonna put my stuff up here so that way it doesn't get wet. But the hurricane obviously messed up some things over here. It's like high tide right now. Yeah, we might have to move up a little further over there. But, uh, woo! It's a vibe! Oh, I got fried chicken, rice peas, I already said that. But yo, another thing I forgot to mention, what I noticed about uh, Jamaica is that they keep their cars really, really clean. Like the, the cab drivers, extremely, extremely clean. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I just thought I should share that with you. Another thing I think I should share with you, if you have a local with you, you can get to Reach Falls by yourself. You can actually do it by yourself. It's just the fact that when you get off the bus, there's people there immediately waiting for you and to uh, pick you up and take you on a tour and do something of the sort. And they're gonna want money, you know what I mean? That's just the hustle how it goes here in Jamaica, so. Okay, that's all I had to say. I had to get, off the, I had to get all that off my chest. So I'm here at Boston Beach, I'm gonna eat my meal chill with Lars. I think we're just going to kick it for a little bit and uh, see what the day has to offer. Thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate it. Share, like, send it to the family and friends. Do what you do. But I'm checking out from here in beautiful Jamaica.